Today, Martha and I are going to be camping in and exploring the remote mountains of southern Idaho, the Waihi Mountains. Last time, we did a video on the front range of the Waihi Mountains looking for some wildlife, but this time we're going to be going way farther into them on this road right here, Mudflat Road. It's paved right now, but it's soon going to turn into a dirt road that goes for more than 50 miles through these mountains, and there's just going to be no one around. It's going to be wide open spaces. Uh, hopefully some cool wildlife to look at and cool views and it should be a fun trip. We're also going to be doing some camp cooking too with a recipe Martha came up with and it should be pretty tasty. So yeah, it's going to be a fun trip. Let's go. Other than a couple of cattle trucks, we're the only guys out here. We just made it to the top of the mountain. Um, well, not the mountain, but a mountain. Yeah, they're not the usual mountains. They're more high desert mountains um, that like Oregon is known for a lot. And it's really nice because the wildflowers are all blooming right now. So sometimes there's big purple patches of this stuff. As you can see though, it's very dusty out here. Getting a thick layer of dust like you saw when that truck passed. As you can see off in the distance, I'll zoom it in. That is the road we've been driving on, just all the way from those peaks out there. We've just been driving on this nice dirt road. Oh boy, look at the dust. Oh, it's kind of going above me. It's also kind of fun. I know some people hate it, but there's like fighter jets flying around, which I think they're fun to watch when they fly around out here. Um, some people hate it because they're loud and noisy. So we'll probably keep driving, see if we can find maybe a cool canyon to walk up or something like that. Or if not, we'll just walk around here. Gone a bit farther now and we're it's really starting to get pretty but there's this huge valley behind me that you can see there's even a house way 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 out there and there's some uh basalt cliffs in the distance too it looks like something out of a old western or something but unfortunately i don't know if you can see but there's like smoke i don't know where it's coming from like i didn't hear about any wildfires before we started this trip but it's smoky which really sucks to be honest but I'm hoping the wind, it's pretty windy, so I'm hoping that kind of blows it out of here. But it's not terrible yet, so hopefully it doesn't get any worse. We're kind of driving up right now through these really thick juniper. And we just got this beautiful view of, it's called Stone Man Creek. And a nice uh, kind of cliff side there. And there's cliffs all around us now. And this is what I was really hoping to get into. Beautiful. All right, let's keep driving. We are now out on a kind of high desert butte and we got this great view of South Mountain. It's way out there, it won't show up on the GoPro very well, but I'm going to take a, some photos of it and maybe see the surrounding area. It's just juniper as far as you can see. It is just so nice up here. Ha ha ha! 
GoPro. I got your GoPro. It's a rubber boa. Oh my god. Whoa. It's a freaking wormy. What did I say? I was like, what if we find a desert rubber boa? Wow. <sighs> Let's go. Oh Whoa, it feels like a tootsie roll. This is my first Idaho rubber bow. I've only ever found one in Oregon. Oh my gosh. That's... I've been looking for one of these nonstop for the past year. Wow, look at that. I can't believe it. I'm so glad we came back. Dude, I captured it, I think. Martha's holding the rubber bow. I, it like, it feels like a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> it's insane. Very, they're very smooth. He's freshly shed too, he's super shiny. He has the tiniest little eyes I've ever seen. Yeah, they're like little cat eyes. You could, probably can't even see him on the GoPro. Yeah, like, so probably tiny. not. Always oh, hiding. He's really cute, I like it. Dude, I also like how the tail looks like a little, that, like a nub. The tail is supposed to mimic the head. It's Why? So they pretend that their tail is their head. Yeah. To a predator. Let's get some photos of this guy. Let's freaking go. Doesn't he look like poop? Yeah, no, they are definitely looking like poop. Landon is in the process of trying to take a picture of this little guy. He looks like either a piece of poop or like soft serve chocolate ice cream. Goodbye to my first ever Idaho rubber boa. This is like three years in the making. I've been searching for ever. Oh, hello. Oh, we gave you a kiss on the nose. <laughs> um, but I've been trying to find him for a while now. So, all right, we'll let him go. He was heading this way. His burrow might be in this tree. There he goes. Bye. Thanks for being on the road right when we came back. I still cannot believe that we just found that rubber boa and it was just right over there because we were coming back to this spot where we thought uh, was our favorite campsite. But anyway, I'll give you a quick tour of the campsite or we'll all tour it. It's pretty much just this one fire pit and I think there's like a cow skull right here or something, which is kind of interesting. I'm hoping the mosquitoes aren't terrible here, but we might have to deal with a bit of that. We got two skulls here. That guy and this really big cow school. That's sort of creepy, but that's campsite. We are going to now go walk around and hopefully get a cool view, go for a little hike, and uh, then we'll come back and start cooking. There's a bunch of ginormous anthills everywhere around here. I'm kind of scared I'm going to step in one. Buzzed us. I was talking about that earlier. <laughs> They're so loud. I set the camera down to like do a little walking shot and then we started hearing like. That was really scary. That was so loud. Yeah, they are freaking. That's about to drop a bomb on <laughs> That was sick. We just got buzzed again, but I didn't have the camera out. He's flying towards the mountain way out there. You can hear it still. I need to keep the camera out in case he comes back again. Here he is! Let's go! Let's go! That's crazy. Dude, that like gives you the chills every time you hear that when you're just it's out here, it's silent. And then all of a sudden you just hear like the loudest sound you've ever heard coming down here. It's all right, we are just walking around now, kind of waiting to see if those jets are gonna make one more pass. See if we can get right under it, because that would be pretty cool. But we have to keep moving, because the mosquitoes are getting awful. Um, as long as we keep walking, 
it's fine. Snakes and fighter jets and beautiful views. I could not be happier. All right, it's not seeming like they're gonna fly over us again. We keep hearing them in the distance, but they might have be done with this area. So we're gonna head back now. Hopefully get a fire started and the tent up and find a way to avoid the mosquitoes. Slight change of plans. I realized there was another campfire ring right here. So I moved us from over there to over here because it was a little bit less bugs, at least it feels like, and a little more wind. So hopefully that's actually the case. The bugs are like completely gone now. That fire did wonders. I was, I was setting up the GoPro to take a video of the fire and there was a lizard sitting right next to the rock I was putting it on. Ow! And it's cooling down so I was able to catch it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. But anyway, this is a uh, female uh, sagebrush lizard. And yeah, that's uh, I've been trying to catch them all day but they're so fast when it's hot outside so you can't catch them. All right, it is now dinner time, and we are making pizza hot pockets um, in tinfoil. And we kind of just came up with this recipe. Well, it was mostly Martha's idea, and we're just gonna try it. We don't actually know if it works or like this is not based on someone else doing this. So yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So here we go. We're gonna get a piece of tinfoil out. Sweet. And we're gonna get our ingredients out here. Not chocolate. No, maybe not. Just don't make any. To pop it open. Oh, I remember. Okay. You like this, maybe? And then you. Kind of it. I'm just peeling this off. You know, that doesn't need to peel off, I don't think. <gasps> Whoa! That's why I was under pressure. Uh On one side? Uh-huh. Okay. Side. Just one side? Yeah, I think one side is probably the move. Baroni. Alright, and then we got spinach. On there. We just do that as best as possible. It definitely does not look super pretty, but I, I, think, it, it. I think it'll work. All right, we're gonna make another one real quick. So we got the fire kind of died down. We got our two hot pockets. I don't know, I don't want to burn them. So I'm just gonna, we can start right here okay. and see what that does. All right, we got them cooking. We're gonna make probably just one more. I think yeah. that's all that's left. We've been flipping these for a while now. I think maybe like one more flip and then they might be about ready. Martha just had some of this one. She really liked it. This one is very crispy, but. I honestly don't mind. The burnt taste. Yeah. It tastes like wood-fired pizza or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can eat that one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm mm. Oh, cheese bowl. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is take two. I think we did a little bit better job this time. This last time we kind of were figuring it out still. That oh, one looks yeah. much better. That's beautiful. And the other side. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Campsite is looking awesome in this evening's evening sun. I think the sun's about to set over there. It's really pretty.
as you can tell from those time lapses in this video right here, we are getting some beautiful cotton candy, pink and blue uh, sunset and clouds. It is so beautiful. I love it. As we kind of got the view of the fire over here and the pink through the trees is so nice. All right, good morning. Martha and I slept in. We just got up and it's already like almost nine o'clock. Yeah, it took some more of those jets to wake us up. <laughs> they were kind of our alarm, but we both slept good. Nothing really happened last night. We're gonna pack up real quick and then we'll drive out and see if there's any uh, other cool stuff we wanna do on the way out. We've reached a roadblock. These cows aren't letting us pass. They're just staring us down. They're about to beat us up. Move! I have shoes on. Ow. Oh Perfect. wow! What what a nice big boy. Gopher snake here. And he's not. <gasps> oh! They're oh. always so grumpy out here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear, there's some just grumpy oh, gophers. Bro, chill there. out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is so mean. He's a grumpy boy. It's all right. Don't bite me in the face, though. Anyway, these guys are harmless. They try to mimic rattlesnakes to make people leave them alone. But they're harmless. Here's a yeah, closer look. They're really cool snakes. Yeah, he's fine. He knows we're not here to hurt him. Here's Martha holding him. Nice. I was just about to set the gopher snake down. And then I realized just sitting right here is another gopher snake. We can have two. Cold. He's. I think he was sleeping under that rock right there. Oh, he's so chill. He's sleeping under that rock and he just was coming out to sun himself. That's two gopher snakes. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. Do you think they're friends? They probably are. I mean, they probably see each other. You can see how different they look. This one's much more black. This kind of has brown he's spots. He's trying to escape. Here. Woo! That's cool. Oh my gosh, it's like, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> well, we're gonna let these guys go here and uh, continue on our way. We might see some more. Guess where the gopher snake is? He went in my sleeve. <laughs> he's like, he's trying to squeeze my arm right now. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> I just got a gopher snake bracelet. That's gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna get him at me. He's like squeezing me. I don't even know. Okay, go. Just to give you an idea of where we are now, we are now out on the Owyhee front. We left the mountains that we were in uh, last night. And I thought it would be fun to come cruise this beautiful dirt road. I mean, just look how far it goes um, this morning. And there's a lot of flat sagebrush land. We can see all the way to Boise, Idaho, way over there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> this guy's strong. Wow. Anyway, there's a nice good look at him. Beautiful. He's hissing. He doesn't like you guys. <gasps> Let me go, bro. <laughs> go, go the other way. You were going that way. Um. <laughs> really, <laughs> bro? <laughs> You're not that guy. Go, go back to your day. I let you go. <laughs> okay. Ow! <laughs> he just got me on the knee. <laughs> you are the grumpiest man I've ever met. Go back. Oh my lord.
All right, we have officially made it back to the highway, so I think that's the conclusion of this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, for those that did, and uh, hope you'll join us on our next adventure.